Hi, my name is Robert. Please read the comments in the about section of this video. It has valuable information and updates. My YouTube channel has a disclaimer video that I encourage you to watch. And please like, share, and subscribe. I hope you found what you're looking for. Thank you very much for watching. Putting this video together to try to help those that has jumped into a cylinder head job or pulled a VVT hub off without watching the proper video. You know, if you're going to pull a VVT hub off of a cam, you really need to take the stuff off the back of the head and install the cam locking tool. If you don't have a cam locking tool installed, I, I don't even know how you got that VVT hub off, to be honest with you. That bolt is torqued in there holding that hub against that cam. I don't know how you broke it loose without a locking tool. Anyway, here you are trying to get the stuff back together. So I'm making this video to try to help you get as close as possible without, you know, having timing issues and timing codes and rough running. I talked to the Volvo mechanics that do this stuff all the time. They said some variants of this uh, job, you almost have to get a new hub to avoid getting error codes. Anyway, this is my advice. I hope it helps. Engine with no belt on it. You got your uh, crank sprocket. You got your two marks there, little marks. This is your oil pump. That's the mark that this stuff is supposed to be lined up with. As you can see, this one is off about a half a tooth. Now, these engines are timed with marks. They're not timed by having a piston top dead center. So don't even contact me talking about top dead center. It's not how these things are timed. You're going to get yourself in trouble. Tensioner pulley, idler pulley, water pump, VVT hub, standard camshaft uh, pulley sprocket, whatever you want to call it. This one is standard. It has slots in there. It can be off time a little bit as well. But this is the one that people have all of their problems with. If I had to guess, I'd say this engine came out of a 99 or 2000. Anyway, an earlier version of the ones with the VVT hub. The intake cam here has the numbers along the bottom of it. The slot is actually offset to the top. This is the exhaust cam. The slot is offset to the bottom. It has a notch in the bottom. The numbers are going along the top of it. As you can see, if you had to put the locking tool on, this would turn a little clockwise to straighten this out, and that timing mark can still be on. That's why it's variable timing. The sensor could actually make the timing adjust while the engine's running, and it has somewhat of an adjustment these are interference engines, so you don't want to be too far off on the timing, or you'll have problems. If you have decided to try to do this without the cam locking tool, I don't know what to tell you. You more than likely are not going to get that right. I don't know who you need to talk to, but without the cam locking tool, I have no advice for you at all. Get the cam locking tool, install it, intake cam numbers on the bottom. Slots offset to the top, exhaust can numbers across the top, the slot offset to the bottom, and this one actually has a notch in it. Let me show you one more that has been put together, and then we'll talk about the front of the uh, VVT hub. Right in behind here, so you can see, same situation with this VVT hub. The slots almost straight across. It had that cam locking tool on. It's been removed and it's got that little notch on the bottom side. Before you put the belt on, this plug is actually out of the hub. You got the bolt that goes down inside there that bolts this VVT hub onto the cam. What you wanna do is slide the cam VVT hub over the cam. You wanna rotate this clockwise until you get your mark to come all the way around and point back at the top. Then you want to take the center bolt, snug it down. Don't torque it all the way down, just snug it down. It's snug down. When you let it go, these earlier 
hubs will likely spring load back a couple of teeth. That's okay. Let it spring load back. Then you install your belt and when you go to put your belt on, you want to take your cap, turn your cap in, and turn your tool clockwise to crank the tension and turn this hub clockwise so that it's back on its mark with the cover, then slip your belt on. After you got your belt on, your belt tensioned right with your tensioner approximately that position at 70 degrees, that position if it's 90 degrees, that position if it's 35 degrees or whatever. Then you pull the cap back out with your cam locking tool still on the back. You torque that center bolt down at its proper torque. Then you put this cap back in. Now you have all three of your marks lined up. These two are lined up with the cover. This one is lined up with the oil pump down there. This mark in between these two little notches. This thing here actually is a mark that some people use to line that up with the back oil pump. Then your timing should be set. One point you should know is the earlier ones, this hub is spring loaded. So you rotate it around clockwise, you snug the center bolt, then when you let it go, it will probably spring load counterclockwise a tooth or two. That's how it should happen. On the newer models, these hubs are not spring loaded, they just have play in them. So after you have the hub set, you can loosen these smaller bolts out here they may be eight millimeter but once that's set in there you want to try to center these as best you can so that you have the play on both sides of those bolts snug those down that is where you want your initial setting to be once you have your timing set it'll look like this engine over here let me go back to the other engine after you have your three timing marks set and your belt installed, your tensioner installed, now you will have to remove the cam locking tool from the back of the cam. After you get the cam locking tool removed, you can now roll this engine over twice at the harmonic balancer bolt, your crank bolt, two full revolutions. Make sure your timing marks come back up in line and you've made sure that you don't have any valve to piston contact internally in the engine. After you've um, started the car, if you have some kind of uh, error message for timing, you can actually adjust the timing with three these three bolts a little bit counterclockwise or a little bit clockwise to try to correct your timing setting. Not sure how to tell you to do that, but that is some play in here that you can adjust timing to try to get your error codes away. My understanding, if you're dealing with the newer cars, S40, V40s, V50s, C50s, a lot of times these hubs are one-time use. Once you take them apart, you often have to replace them with a new hub to get rid of your error codes. I hope that helps. That's all I got. Again, I don't know how you can do this without the cam locking tool, but if you try, good luck. Don't bother calling me. If you feel that this information was useful, please like it and share it with your social media friends. You can subscribe to my channel so that you will get notifications of future videos that I post. You can follow me on Twitter, and if you need to contact me directly, please visit my website. And if you have any questions, leave them below, and someone or myself will reply to them. Again, thank you very much for watching.